Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be a reading all about what's going on in your connection, how they feel about you, uh, what are their true intentions, and what's next for the connection. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every single one of you watching 100%. It might resonate halfway or not at all. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Taurus videos. Or Taurus, let's get into this. For Taurus spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus regarding love? What's going on with these two? Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith and past life relationship. You've known each other before. Very interesting. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So maybe this is um, something going on between you where I, what I'm picking up is that the trust is, is has been broken or damaged in some way. Um, or perhaps some certain things have happened in your connection with this person where there's no more faith or there's a you're losing hope in the future of the connection. We'll see. Tell me more about what's going on for Taurus Spirit. Taurus, if this resonates for you, leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating. I love hearing from you guys how the readings resonate. Okay, let's see. What's going on in Taurus's love life? Oh, okay. Wow, Knight of Cups. What messages do you have for Taurus in love? King of Wands. Ten of Cups reverse. Messages you have for Taurus. This Knight of Cups could be an offer of love, an expression of love, or it could be an apology. We'll see. Because I have Ten of Cups reversed. So this is like family issues, heartbreak, Four of Cups. Yeah, there's almost like um, some, some, either you or another person. Um, you're closed off to a new opportunity, perhaps because you're focused on what hasn't been working out for you. Maybe there's like a lack of interest in love, like maybe love hasn't panned out. So you're just not as interested in, in, in that as you were before, or perhaps you are mentally checked out of a connection. We'll see what that's all about. Let me clarify these energies for Taurus. You could be dealing with a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but that's what I have so far here. Let me clarify these energies for Taurus. I just saw the Wheel of Fortune. With the Knight of Wands here. Let me clarify. These messages for Taurus Spirit. Show me. Let's start with this Knight of Cups. This is Knight of Cups here. The Lovers Reverse. So this could definitely be an apology. Gemini energy here. There could have been a separation between you, some sort of disconnect. Perhaps someone made the wrong choice here. Um, page of Swords reverse. It could have been deceptive or hid something from you. Perhaps there's been gossip or just something that hasn't been communicated clearly to you. And someone here could be um, apologizing or trying to make amends here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Moon. Pisces energy. Yeah, this is definitely... Um, You didn't know something here. With the moon and the page of swords reversed, something could have been an illusion or this person didn't tell you the whole story. Um, there were probably hidden factors you weren't aware of, Taurus, or some sort of illusion. Someone presented themselves to be something they weren't to you. It, that This um, confusion or illusion, perhaps the unknown, led to some sort of separation or disconnect between you. 
excuse me and it's like someone wants to come in and I'm really picking up like apologies here amends tell me about the king of wands I see king of wands here ten of swords yeah there is definitely some sort of separation here possibly in the past or recently judgment wow Someone's having an awakening or some sort of um, realization about a separation. It could be that someone wants a second chance now that something ended in the past. This could be, I mean, this is, could be so many messages. It could be, for example, someone could be making a judgment call to end a situation, to close a cycle. Perhaps they've realized that something isn't working. And so they're trying to... Um, cause an ending or end something here this could be someone again some of you could be dealing with with a situation where you've already separated and someone wants a second chance or having some sort of wake-up call about that let's see what else they get here what else can you tell me about this king of wands page of pentacles reverse can I get one more, please, for this King of Wands? I feel like this King of Wands um, wasn't able to give you something small or uh, is very delayed from even making a, a small offer to you. Queen of Wands reverse. You're not on the same page. Yeah, there's conflict here. Five of Wands. Conflict. There's probably a lot of uh, gossip or people too many people involved in your connection You could be very upset at this person at the way that things happened um, Perhaps there's been verbal fights arguments uh, disagreements, etc. Um, I feel like this person for the Taurus That's watching this video that this reading is for what a confusing sentence, but I think you know what I mean I feel like for the people who this reading is for this is someone that wasn't able to commit to you. Not really. I feel like there was already an ending here, a separation. They could have betrayed you. And that's why I have the Ten of Cups reverse here. Heartbreak, disappointment. Tell me about this Ten of Cups reverse. Family issues. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse here for Taurus? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? I feel like you've kind of been doing your own thing, Taurus. The Chariot reverse, Cancer energy. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Nine of Wands. Yeah, you don't trust. You don't trust this other person, or you don't trust anybody, really. And wow, and there's a, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom here. I knew that Wheel of Fortune was going to be important. I feel like this is you. You're kind of doing your own thing, minding your own business, but at the same time, watchful, wary, not letting anybody in, or perhaps not really trusting anybody's intentions here. Um, you've been through a lot. I always get these types of readings for Taurus. I feel like a lot of you um, that at least watch my videos, I feel like you do too much for other people like you bear the brunt of something or you are the ones that carry the load and it ends up like it's, it's like people take advantage of that but here it's it's like I feel like um whatever happened was very heartbreaking very disappointing um and it's caused you to be this person I think you feel stuck like perhaps you need to change direction completely Perhaps things aren't moving fast enough for you. And here comes this wheel to help you out. Tell me about this Four of Cups. It could also be that someone is uh, seeing you as this Nine of Pentacles. Someone independent, strong, successful. Tell me about the Four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups? King of Swords reverse. There's the Four of Cups here. Let's 
the devil capricorn energy this is not a good person whatever this is this is bad communication uh deception the king of swords reverse tends to be a very difficult person to deal with they don't play fair this could have become an, a toxic connection an unhealthy situation you could also just be dealing with a capricorn yeah, one more for this Four of Cups. For Taurus. Yeah, this was someone you couldn't trust. This is all bad, 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 bad energy here that I'm picking up. This is someone that you, that's not on your side. They're not on your side, Taurus. I almost feel like I'm picking up for some of you. This person gaslights you. If that word sticks out to you, you have no idea what gaslighting means. Look it up. That message might be for you. Um, I feel like this person gaslights you. Like almost like they turn things around on you and it kind of leaves you confused. Like you don't even know what to think. That's for some of you. This is not good energy. I feel like this has become something completely unhealthy, toxic. I feel like it's wearing you down here. This could have happened in the past or be happening now. Empress energy. This is you, Taurus. Like, haven't we had these readings before in the past? Check out my other readings for Taurus. You are way too good for this. And someone, it, it's almost like they know. They know that you are, um, you know, you're recognizing your worth. I think that was your last reading was that you know your worth. Or they're recognizing your worth. You're worth way more than what this person, I mean, what this person has brought to the table is just crumbs. Like, this isn't good enough for this empress. And I feel like you're slowly getting there. You're slowly getting to this level. The Nine of Pentacles is usually like the... She's like a young queen. Uh, she's not totally a queen yet, but she's on her way there. Very similar energy. So how are they feeling or thinking about you? I'm going to be using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. By the time that you watch this video, this should be out in my shop for sale. So check it out. The link is down below. What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus Spirit at this time? About Taurus at this time. Okay, we got I need more time. I'm confused. Well, so am I, to be honest. What's at the bottom? I feel guilty. I need more time. I'm confused. I feel guilty. So this person, I feel like they're aware of, first, how they've hurt you or affected you. And also, they know that they need more time to take care of something. So it's like they know what they should do. But it's like in their mind, they it, it can't happen right now. I don't know why they're confused. I guess we'll see the further we move on here. Let's get some more information about how they're feeling about you or thinking about you. Spirit. What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? Oh, oh, okay. Well, there you are. Coming up reverse. Higher font reverse. Broken commitment. Rebel rebelling against expectations. What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? <laughs> Okay, I I got a message that some of you, you're completely pissed at this person and they, they when they think of you, they just see this angry face. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not funny, but I feel like that's a very specific message. How are they feeling about Taurus? Five of Cups, yeah, there's regret here. Guilt, remorse, they know. 
Ten of Wands. They know. This is a burden um, for your person. It, this connection, there's a lot of baggage here. A lot has happened to get to this point, the Ten of Wands. This for me as a reader, this is a card about, for me, it's um, obviously it's obligations, responsibilities, and a weight, a burden, right? But I, it's also a card about time for me as a reader. For you to collect all of these wands, it takes time. And now you're almost at the finish line, but you've been carrying this for a long time. That's why it's becoming heavy. The longer you walk, the heavier it becomes, the load here. So to, for me, this is possibly a lot of baggage that has accumulated over time. Let's clarify these energies here. Tell me more for Taurus. information please for Taurus regarding these energies. Ten of Cups reverse again. Ten of Cups reverse with the chariot reverse. So the same energies that I'm picking up here from that other deck I was using. Okay. Tell me about the Hierophant reverse. Why is the higher font reverse? Chariot reverse, tower. Yeah, this was a possibly, this is a broken commitment that you might even feel stuck in, or perhaps someone feels um, like they can't move forward, they can't uh, progress here. This probably was a surprising. Um, a tower happened, so something unexpected happened in this connection. Yeah, Ten of uh, Pentacles. You could have been married to this person, had children with this person. Maybe it was just a really long-term commitment. You could have possibly even found out this person was married. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, they're thinking about what was said, possibly uh, the deception, um, how they deceived you or how they communicated with you. I don't think it was good. Tell us that Ten of Wands again. This is where the baggage comes from. Someone has been carrying this guilt. Yeah, this guilt, this guilt and this heartbreak. Ten of Cups reverse. I don't believe in coincidences. The reason, like, you know, that I was seeing this card and the Ten of Wands twice, you know. This is a heartbreak, remorse over a separation here. A bad judgment call, have judgment reversed. Someone's been carrying this guilt. This person, when they think about you, they're thinking about the guilt they're carrying. They're not doing well. Yeah, and just when I say there's a five of pentacles, they're not doing well. They're struggling without you here. Tell me about the ten of wands. Six of cups reversed, stuck in the past, still thinking of the past. Justice reverse, Libra energy, something that's not fair, not just not balance they know the past is off balance they, they know the past they know they weren't fair to you there's no illusion here for this person they still want success they still want things to work out there's a king of swords through communication something tells me though that their communication i feel like does more harm than than good what are their true intentions Towards Taurus. What are your true intentions towards you, Taurus? What are your true intentions towards Taurus? Zebra. 
You've opened their eyes to something. You're different, Taurus. You're unique. Beaver. This person, um, they could be the a parent, um, someone that you have children with. That's a possibility. Um, I feel like this beaver is just telling me um, that this person really wants to work on the happy family thing. But I feel like that could be an illusion with the zebra. I'm not sure why I'm getting that with the zebra. But it's almost like if something's too good to be true, there is possibly there's a reason for that. If this person is not willing to work on things to improve things, then this is just a card about the beaver is about working hard, being loyal, um, being a provider, etc., etc. It could be thinking about being this for you or telling you that this is what they want to be for you. So what's next for this connection? I'm going to pick a few cards here. What is next for this connection spirit between Taurus and this other person? What's next? Four of Cups reverse, a change of heart, renewed interest. Someone's having a change of heart. The Hierophant, there you are Taurus, upright this time. Commitment, contracts, values. Eight of Wands. So this person is going to communicate with you in some way or want to move things forward, take some sort of action here. They might even be communicating with you about their change of heart or what they've changed their mind about. Nine of Wands reversed at the bottom here. I feel like it's going to be very difficult to get you to listen to this person um, because of everything that's happened, you might be closed off to this person. Or again, I don't think you trust this person. There's something here with trust. Let me know if that resonates with you down in the comments. But I feel like this is someone that when they do reach out, it's not going to be easy. I feel like Taurus, you're a very stable energy. Um, steadfast. You remain the same. And this person, I feel... They can't find that anywhere else. So this person, there has been a, rela a separation, um, which I feel like for a lot of you, there has been. Uh, I feel like this person, it's almost like, I don't know, like they can't find anybody like you. They like the fact that you don't change. Which that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but that's neither here nor there. They want success with you. Expect some sort of communication here for sure for them to reach out in some way. And I think it's because they've changed their mind about something. Maybe they've realized um, something about the past. Something about how they feel, you know? I know that they feel guilty. They feel guilty and they're carrying this guilt. And I think they want to talk to you about it. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It helps the channel grow. And I appreciate everyone who's already done that. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated for you. All right, Taurus, I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.